When was the last time someone spoke words of encouragement to you? And not just a generic way to go or you got this, but real specific words that recognize your gifts, your talents, your character. When was the last time you did that same thing for someone else? Today, we're going to be looking at Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. We'll be in chapter five. This is the closing of the letter. And Paul is casting a vision and motivation for the future, for the day that Jesus will return in all of the days leading up to it. And in verse 11, Paul writes this. He says, therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. Paul knew that followers of Jesus would need each other to build each other up and encourage one another, to speak words of truth and life, to keep us going on the right path. We need one another to remind us of the truth of who we are and how Jesus sees us. I know that when I take the time to pause, to really see someone, to listen, to notice what makes them uniquely wonderful, and then to take the time to call it out, it makes both of us better. It makes me better because when I am taking the time to notice what makes this person so special, I'm putting my mind in alignment with God's, choosing to see this person the way that God sees them. And also, it just feels really good to build another person up. And it makes the other person better because while we are all uniquely gifted with strengths and talents, it can be really easy to forget those things about ourselves. But what, what gets celebrated gets repeated. So when I call something out in another person, there are all the more likely to continue to develop and strengthen that thing about them that is already great. Today, I wanna to challenge you to choose someone to encourage. Pay attention to them, listen to them, notice what makes them awesome, and then tell them, be specific and make it something real recognize their character or their talents. And if you're in need of encouragement today, maybe you haven't been built up in this way in quite a while. I want to suggest to you, go first. Do this for someone else. Cultivate the type of relationships where encouraging one another is just part of what you do. And talk to God about it. Tell him that you need these kinds of relationships in your life, that you need relationships that build you up and encourage you. Ask him to help you develop these types of relationships and then take the step and go do it. So I'll leave you today with this encouragement. You are loved by the God who created you. You are seen, you are valuable, you are worthy. Have a great day. Go encourage someone.